still a cool and comfortable night in our region, but more rain is on the way. Here is Kate timing it all out for us. Hi, Kate. Hi, Jessica. Yeah, the first three days of this week, we were dealing with spotty showers, some heavier stuff, some breaks in the action. We finally got a breather today, and now we're back into a very similar pattern for the rest of the week and the upcoming weekend. That means it's not going to be a total washout, but we will be dodging showers throughout the weekend. Saturday now looking like the most active day as far as rain is concerned. Center City right now is quiet. We have a few patchy clouds out there. It's 59 degrees. Dew point is 36, so very dry air that swept in today. You felt that low humidity. It was a beautiful day. Light breeze from the north northwest at six miles per hour. Today's high was 66. We we're actually pretty decently below average. 72 is the normal, so more than five degrees below average today. But I didn't hear any complaints. People seem to be loving it. Everyone was outside soaking up the sun and leaving the umbrellas at home. But you may need them again by this time tomorrow night, at least. This next system moving in from the west. It's a slow mover, and then it's going to stall and almost rotate back into the region on Saturday, pulling in moisture and chill from the Atlantic Ocean. Saturday looks like a chilly and damp start to the weekend. So dry for now, and we'll start tomorrow dry as well, and then things go downhill a little bit. 49 tonight, mainly cloudy and seasonably cool. Tomorrow, starting the day with some sun. Clouds roll in pretty quickly by midday and then a few scattered showers in the afternoon. But rain threat will be much more pronounced at night around this time tomorrow night. So we're looking at about a 43% chance of rain tomorrow. Saturday, 64%. Sunday and Monday not looking great. The good news for Mother's Day Sunday, it's mainly skewed toward the second half of the day. So your morning plans looking fine. Monday starts with rain as well. Let's take a look at how the timing shakes out here. Tomorrow starts out okay, but by 4 p.m., just a couple of spotty showers, nothing major. You can see some heavier downpours creeping into our far western zones by tomorrow around 6 or 7 o'clock. That will slowly move in but start to fizzle a little bit overnight tomorrow night into Saturday. Saturday starts with a few morning showers, a little bit of a break in the action midday, and then more numerous showers rotating through Saturday afternoon and evening. Now again, they're not everywhere, but there is a good chance, no matter where you are, that you will get hit with a downpour at some point Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. Certainly something to keep in mind if you have any dinner plans outdoors. So comfortably cool on the chilly side a little bit for the Mother's Day weekend. Not a washout, but spotty showers at any time Saturday. Then rain returns by the evening hours on Sunday. 60, the high Saturday. 72 again is our normal. We'll struggle to hit 60 for Saturday. A little bit better on Sunday. Morning plans look fine. Rain returns by late afternoon or evening, and that is going to linger right into Monday, but then a nicer pattern early next week. So showers late Friday, showers anytime Saturday, then late again Sunday into Monday. Then we've got a couple of days, Tuesday and Wednesday, that look a lot like today. Mm. And again, I didn't hear too many complaints about today. <laughs> Not at all. Okay, thank you.